Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay, um, everyone is ready? Yes. Hallelujah. Let's pray and allow the Holy Spirit to come in our midst today. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are here. As you promised, two or three gathered together, you are in our midst. Father, we thank you. Teach us today. Teach us today your word. Father, that your word is a living word. You said, Lord, when you send forth your word, it will never go void. Father, this year, 2019, we thank you for everything you had brought us through. And we can enter your gate with thanksgiving. And we ask you, Father, that your will be done, your kingdom come. We ask you, Father God, the Holy Spirit, to teach us today. Lord, that we will look unto you, not to myself, but unto you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we leap up to you, the, the Father of... Um, of uh, Darren, as I promised, Father Lord, that we will pray for him. Father, thank you for your healing. Yes, Lord, there is no distance in prayer. You're able to touch him. You're able to heal him. Father God, for you said, Lord, that uh, you are Jehovah Rapha. You're the God that healed thee. Wherever, uh, uh, whatever the, the sickness and diseases, Father, we hand it over to you. We thank you, Father, for the healing of his soul. We thank you, God, that you're the great healer. Even, Lord, see, si, um, see, si Jasmine. We thank you, Lord, abutin mo Thank you, Father, that whatever it is, Father God, Lord, we thank you. That into your hands we commit them unto you. For your glory, for your purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yes. 2019. Amen. amen. I thank God for 2018. Yes, there's some uh, blessing. There's also some challenges. But we thank, you, we thank God because we're still here. Amen? Amen? So the title of my message today is Press Start. Every one of us had given a chance to start afresh. Amen? Amen? Because I feel that in my heart that this year will be our jubilee. Amen? We will speak positive affirmation in our lives. Yes, some of us will wonder, will this year bring me blessing or heartache? Now, another year is added in our calendar. Yung pong mga single, another year na naman po ang added sa ating calendar. But we should speak positive, we should have positive expectation that this year will be better for us. Amen? Especially in this church. In our ministry that God lovingly trusted in our hand. The excitement of New Year will give us a fresh start. The best is yet to come. Do you believe in that? The best is yet to come. Amen. So don't wonder. No, don't, don't wonder anymore because yes, blessing will come and challenges will come. But that's the beauty of life, isn't it? That's the beauty of life. Life has full of surprises. That's why, yeah? Let us look unto God for... Uh, let us look at the scriptures that will guide us today. So our first reading today will be at Psalm 31, verse 14, 15. As for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy and from those who persecute me. Amen? My times are in your hand. This is an awesome truth that gives us an assurance that when we trust the one who knows the past, the future, the past, the present, and the future, our times are in his hand. Alam po ng Panginoon ang ating pagdadaanan, ang ating pinagdaanan, at pagdadaanan pa. So our times are in his hand. I will trust you, Lord, whatever challenges that face my face in this coming year. I know God will give us grace to overcome the plans and lies of the devil that comes our way. Remember, the devil is like a roaring lion 
always looking for someone he will devour. So he give us a chance. So don't give him a chance to play trick in our mind. Okay? Don't let the devil, don't give the devil a chance to play trick in our mind. The Lord deliver me from the hands of my enemy. This should be our prayer. Lord, deliver me from the hands of my enemy. You know what? There's no weapons against us that shall prosper. The Bible said he will repute every tongue that accuses you and me. Amen? Amen. So don't worry about the accuser. Plainly say, get thee behind me, Satan. You're a stumbling block to me. Instead, keep confessing positive words in your mouth. You know, there's power in confession. Do you know that? There is power in confession. Amen. Keep saying positive things because God will bring it to pass. Amen? Psalm 16, 5, 6. Oh, Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lion have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have good inheritance. Amen? We must not confess lack as our Heavenly Father has given us everything we need. Hindi po tayo magko-confess na lagi tayong wala. Kasalanan po yun because God has given us everything we need. Oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance. Wow, amen. When I read this word, I said, Lord, I am rich in you. Amen. I have good inheritance. Everything has fallen to me in pleasant places. You know, when you come to the Philippines, coming to London, you are not sure what life will be in this country, isn't it? But we thank God everything is falling in right places. Amen? We have a job. We have a family now in London. You would never believe that those things will come into pleasant places. Because God had arranged that for you and me. We must not confess defeat. God made us more than a conqueror. Amen? Wag po natin sasabihin na tayo talunan because God made us to be more than a conqueror. We must not confess doubt as God had given us faith. We are to speak the things that the word of God declared as truth. Amen? We must confess the word of God as God declared the truth. We easily quote what we meant, what men have to say on a subject. Many times we believe that in spite of the word of God had say about it, but we are hesitant to quote what God say because the devil tells us that we would be lying. He causes us to look at our circumstances rather than the word of God. Amen. Kasi po, uh, when our mind is tricking us, you know, the lie of the devil, we look at the circumstances. We are not looking at the proper word of God. Amen? Circumstances are subject to changes. And one thing that causes them to do is the confession of God's word over a particular situation. In fact, the word of God tells us to confess or talk about the things that we believe God will do in our lives and it will bring to pass. Amen? So what are you confessing today? That's the question. What are you confessing today? This year, 2019, what do you believe God will do to you? You must have that positive expectation that the year 2019 will bring blessing, not a curse. Amen? Amen. Romans 4, verse 20, 21. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Ito po si Abraham, the father of faith. Waiting is always the hardest things that all of us experience. You might, not, you might say, I'm not Abraham. I cannot wait that long. You know, even Sarah cannot wait that long. He decided to help God to speed the process. Do you remember what, he, what she did? She asked Abraham to sleep with his maid servant to speed the process. That's the wrong thing to do. We cannot help God. We have to allow God to be God. Amen? So what happened? 
Sarah hated Hagar. She hated her because she had a son and she doesn't have one. You see? Because she wanted to, to speed the process. She wanted to have a child. If you have a wife like uh, Sarah, the pressure is on. So I believe that, uh, I believe that uh, Abraham agreed. He agreed to sleep with the, the maidservant to, to, um, to make uh, Sarah happy. But I believe in his heart, he still believed that God is able. Imagine at the age of 90, he received his promise. What a long wait. Amen? But his relationship with God is so intimate that he was called a friend of God. Remember, all the promises of God is yes and amen for the glory of God and his purpose. God is never too late. He's always on time. Hallelujah. My question again, what are you waiting? What are you waiting for God to perform in your life? I experienced waiting. I was waiting for 18 years because I believe God had promised me something. But I did not regret anything. You know why? Because I know that God is able. It did not work the way I wanted to work. But during those 18 years, God had molded me. God had disciplined me. I know the presence of God in our lives. So all things will work together for good to those that love God. Amen? So it's worth waiting. Amen? Matthew 6, verse 34. So what do you do while waiting? What do you do while waiting? You seek first the kingdom of God and those, and all these things shall be added unto you. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own thing. Sufficient for the day is its, its own trouble. Seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. You might say it's easy for you to say those things. You're not having a rough time. It's easy for you to say these things. You're not homeless. It's easy for you to say these things. I, you didn't lose everything. Our job, our, our, you know, uh, in the Bible, Job lost everything. He lost everything, but he trusted God. He said, my Redeemer lives. What he had given, he will take it away. Amen? Amen? But he was saying to us, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own, will worry itself. Enough is the day, sufficient for the day of its own trouble. Hindi po tayo nagwo-worry kung anong bukas. We don't even know if there's still tomorrow. Amen? We don't even know if there is tomorrow. Instead, confess and tell God, I don't know, that, I don't know Lord, what is going to happen, but I know you will help us. You will meet my needs. Amen? Confess this because he, we know that God cares for us. When we bring evil, we bring evil and good things forth by what we speak. Jesus repaired this in Matthew 12, 34, 37. Totoo po yan, we bring evil. We bring evil and good things forth for what, by what we speak. Yung pong negative na sinasabi natin, saka yung good things na sinasabi natin, yeah? We refer this at Matthew 12, 34, 37. Brother Bifer, how can you being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. As good men out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good things. And evil men out of evil treasure bring forth evil things. But I say to you that for every idle words men may speak, they will give account on uh, of it in the day of judgment. For by your, my, by your words you'll be judged, and by your words you'll be condemned. 
When we were a baby Christian, and we don't learn this truth yet, by His grace, God does not give us the things we confess or speak wrongly because they are not in accordance with the will of God. Amen? Nung pong mga bago tayong kristyano, yung mga sinasabi natin negative things, hindi po ha, saka yung pong sinasabi natin sa mga tao na yung mga judgmental attitude natin, hindi po, napapaking, hindi po pinapakinggan ng Panginoon niya. You know why? Because it's not accordance with His will. Amen? We have not learned His will yet, but He looks in our heart. He looks in our heart and simply because we are deciding to do the will of God, He cancels those things that are not in His will. Amen? Our heart is speaking louder than our mouth. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. There is a phrase that say that comes from the horse mouth. Di ba nakapapakinggan natin niya? Well, it comes from the horse mouth. So be careful, the compassion of our mouth will eventually bring forth the things we speak. And if we continue to speak the truth in our heart, our mouth will also begin to line up with our heart. Amen? However, until the time the Lord is gracious to us, when our hearts and our mouth are not agreeing, always speak positive in every situation. Trusting God that He is able to make things positive when you put your faith in Him. Remember, God is bigger in every situation, in every road we take in our journey of life. Amen? Malaki po ang Panginoon sa lahat ng ating pagdadaanan, sa lahat ng mga rough road na may encounter natin. God will guide us in our journey of life. Amen? Matthew 18 verse 18. As surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosened in heaven. I suggest that you find a prayer partner that will agree with you in prayer. Prayer of two is most powerful when two are in agreement. I remember when I was in ICM, I have a prayer partner. I used to go at their house and pray together. We hold our hands together in agreement. Amen? Most powerful when two are in agreement. So whatever you bind on earth, it will be bound in heaven. All negative things that we are confessing is a curse. We have to bind it on earth that it will not happen in your lifetime in this earth. Amen? And in agreement with God, He will put stuff happening in your life. And now after you've done that, start confessing good things in your life. Like, Lord, bless me. Bless my mind. Bless the work of my hand. Bless everything I touch in agreement with God. He will bless you. You're losing blessing in heaven into your life. Amen? Amen. So start confessing positive things. Lord, bless me. Bless the work of my hand. Bless everything I touch. Because that's what the, what the Lord wants you to have. Blessing. Amen. Let us look at the prayer of Javis. At 1 Chronicles 4.10. 4, and Javis called on the Lord of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. That your hands would be with me. That you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. So God grant him what he requested. Amen? That's the prayer of Jabez. This is how we should pray. The prayer of Jabez is very inspiring and challenging for how we approach God in our requests. Jabez cry out to the God of Israel, all oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Nothing is wrong when we ask God to bless us. Because he longed to give that to you. Amen? Many followers of Christian faith adopted this kind of prayer and do sometimes receiving criticism about it. But these are designed for the followers of Christ. Amen? <coughs> Yung pong uh, prayer ni Javis is designed for the followers of Christ. God longed to give it to you and me. It is our inheritance in the kingdom of heaven. He even promised to prepare a mansion for you and me. Amen? We have to program our mind. Nasa, kasi lagi pong sinasabi natin na 
It's all in our mind. Amen? We had to program our mind. God had designed us to be blessed. Amen? Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Alam po natin ito. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you future and a hope. Amen? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The Lord is thinking beautiful things about us. Positive affirmation that we will do well under his guidance. If we do what he wants us to do. He longs to give us peace in our troubled heart. He says not to let our heart be troubled. Trust in him. We are not to worry about certain things. He assures us that he will take care of it. If we need peace, he says come to him. Those who are heavily laden. And he will give us rest. Amen. Rest for our heart. Rest for our mind. Rest for our spirit. He longed to give us future full of joy. After all, he gave up heaven to experience what we're going through in this earth. He gave us hope that because he lived, we can face tomorrow. We just sang that today. We just sang that today. Because he lived, we can face tomorrow. God had beautiful plan to those that believe him. So start confessing positive things in our mouth. Amen? So year 2019, keep confessing positive things. Don't confess negative. You lack nothing because you have God. I am rich in Christ. Amen? Amen. In God, I have everything. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 1820. That's the danger. Death and life are the power of tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Death and life are the power of tongue. We should be careful with the words. Words have power to break us and tear us apart, especially those sensitive people. We cannot take back what we already said. It wounded the soul of others. No matter how sorry we are, it will destroy that relationship. Please don't create a story in expense of others to make them look bad and you being a victim because you want sympathy. It's wrong, and we will be accountable for every idol that comes our mouth. The Bible says, don't give false testimony against your neighbors. God even put that in Ten Commandments, Exodus 20, 16. So don't create a story to make you look good and expense for others because you want to gain sympathy. The Lord knows every heart. Amen? The Lord knows the truth. And the truth will always set us free. The truth will always set us free. You don't want uh, a heavy baggage. Amen? You want a joy. Joy of serving God. Joy of serving the true God. Because if you are full of, uh, full of those baggage, you will never enjoy. You will never enjoy how to laugh. Remember the Bible said, Laughter is the best medicine. Amen? Amen? The laughter is the best medicine. Love is the best, best medicine. 2 Timothy 2, 12, 13. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful. He cannot deny himself. As Christians, we are called to endure. Amen? Ang mga Kristiyano po, ma, ano, mga Kristiyano matiisin. Amen? Our great mentor, Jesus Christ, endured the cross, paid the penalty of sin he had never committed. So we can be free of condemnation. Amen? The Bible said there's no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. If we endure with him, we will also reign with him. Amen? He reigned. He rule, and he have the power to change our lives around. Amen? But if we deny him, we, we, he will also deny us. Let me clarify this word. What is denying means? We deny Christ when we have neg negative confession of our lives. We deny him when go his goodness 
of our life if we are ungrateful. Dinideny po natin ang Panginoon if we are ungrateful. Dinideny po natin ang Panginoon. Yes, if we keep confessing negative things in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. When we have negative confession in our lives, we deny Him His goodness in, in our lives if we are, and, and we are ungrateful. Stop confessing pitiful stuff. There are two things we can adopt in life. You can be pitiful or you can be powerful. Your choice. Amen? Sometimes po, particularly women, and I'm saying this woman, we are too dramatic. We think that everything is uh, falling apart. We're never looking at the, the, the positive side of life. Amen? So there are two things we must adopt. We can be pitiful or we can be powerful. It's your choice. Remember, your pity party never drug anyone. Remember, he said if you are faithless, he will remain faithful. Why? Because he cannot deny himself. He is not the God that he will lie. Somehow, somewhere out there, we lie. All of us lie. Only God is true. Amen? Only God is true. Amen. Psalm 50, 23. Whoever offers praise, glorify him. And to him who ordered his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. When we offer praise God, to God, regardless of the situation we are in, we are saying he is in control. He is in charge. We have nothing to worry about. I have learned this a lot. When I have issue at work and I notice something causes me to worry, I take it to God in prayer. I mention it in my conversation with him. And many times I hear him saying, he will take care of it. Or everything will be just fine. Amen? So we have to learn. We have to learn to take it to God in prayer. He, he knows what causes us to worry. He knows what the issue is. Take it to God in prayer. And yes, many times I hear God is saying he will take care of it. Many times he said, Many times he said, everything will be just fine. These words give me assurance that he is in my case. After all, he is seated at the right hand of God, interceding for you and me. Amen? Amen. Who is interceding for you and me? Come on, church. Who is interceding for you and me? Jesus is interceding for you and me. He's taking our requests known to the Father. Amen. What a privilege to know. My help comes from him. And he promised, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. And him who order his conduct aright will show salvation of God. Yes, we have a press start to put things right. Defend and ask forgiveness because God is able to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we confess our sin. No excuses, no but, just truth. Come clean. Don't worry about other people. Don't carry those guilt he never designed for you. Come to Jesus. Let him be the anchor of our lives. Focus on him. Our past is buried and will never be remembered anymore. Our future is in his hand. Amen? Amen? Our future is in his hand. My last verse before I close. This is from Apostle Paul. This is a good thing. Amen? Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Ahead, I press towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen? amen. So this year, 2019, amen, we press on towards the goal for what God had called us to do. My question as I end my message, what is God calling you to do? What is God calling you to do this 2019? Amen? He, he wants us to press on towards the goal for his high calling. 
Amen? Lahat po tayo tinawag ng Panginoon. All of us are called for something. All of us have given us a talent. Use it for God's glory. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Yes, Lord. Help us, Father, to start afresh that this 2019, Father, we will value more. More of you, Father, less of us. Help us, Father, to learn. To learn, Father, that we have learned a lesson for all the trials and all the challenges that had come. And we thank you that you had never left us. You had never forsake us. Father, this 2019, help us, Father, to start afresh. The committing our, our, our commitment unto you, our love for you, Father. That we will love you all the days of our lives. <laughs> We will serve you, Father. We will know the truth because only the truth will set us free. Father, guide us, lead us. If we need to be broken, break us for your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. We give you praise for all the things you're about to do in our lives. Truly, oh God, that you are good. Truly, oh God, that you long to bless your people. Truly, oh God, you long, Father God, Lord, to, to see Jesus in us. In the name of Jesus. Even sa vision ng church na ito, help us to reach out for the lost. The evangelist empower to be powerful. In the name of Jesus, those people will hear who Jesus is. In the name of Jesus, that is our commission. Help us to honor your, our commission in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen.